Yes, so welcome aboard again to Never Wonderful Viewers. In our today's session, I'm sure you're already in love with the beats that is going on. And, and it looks sometimes very familiar. And it appears it's being used by a lot of popular artists. If you feel you know the artist that is currently or those artists that are currently using this kind of beat or have used this kind of beat or the sound pack, please let me know at the comment section. Let's get to brainstorm and get to see how we can create some wonderful freestyle that will flow with it. So we are going to see how we create this beat as I have started earlier. We are talked about being a DJ is good, but you can't limit yourself to that level of being a DJ alone. You need to build a little career in the music production environment. Because you cannot make money from other people's royalty. That is playing other people's music. So you need to you need to spark your brain to also create something unique and put it out there for your audience to also connect with you while you're also building a royalty free free life in the future. Where you can build another source of income. So that is why I'm talking about how to create beats, how to blend songs and a host of other. So just as I have said severally on how to beat, how to do DJ mixes and I have started on the aspect of music production and as well as music distribution and building a music career of your own choice too. So sometimes you want to create something like this in order to blend with your audience while, while preparing their appetite for more entertainment as you go about your DJ mixes. Devoid of royalty as well too. So let's go to see how we put up this beat together. I'm sure you've already have a feel of it. You get to appreciate it. I will run it again before going back to the main environment of the FS Studio, where you get to see the beat in full and how we created it. I'm sure with this little sample you've enjoyed and if you need it please let me know I'm going to make the download link in my description box but if you need the MID in particular that is the FS Studio version of it I can also make it available keep it there because I'm going to be exploring a lot a lot of a lot of these features that are being used by a lot of popular artists as time goes on so that you get to have it if you want to use it some might be for free some might be for some little token but don't worry I'm equal to the task for you and to give you that very best that you're looking forward to let's go over to the FS Studio now so not just limiting ourselves to Afrobeat we also have how these top artists create their own beat from this environment that is the same beat you just listened to in this case, it's going to be a bit slower because on that environment is the FS is the virtual DJ. This is the FS Studio. After opening your FS Studio, you'll be you will see an environment like this, which is what we call the the beat rack. How do you assess this beat rack? Sometimes when you open it, you might not see it. It's going to be something like this. This is the entire beat that we are having that you are seeing here on the screen. Don't worry. For now, it's compressed. With time, we are going to split it so that. When you split it, you get to put the individual element wherever you want them. That is how they produce song. That is how they produce beats. That is how they produce any kind of beats, any kind of song you listen to. Putting each of these elements together at a particular point and where you want it to be. We will go about the splitting. For now, they are being compressed. And there are two ways you can get this beat done. Through the beat rack, where you will just be selecting it or you will be using your keyboard while you are recording it from here. But before then, you have to set your beat per minute. Take note while you're taking the note. As you are using your key, it's going to be recording the note and putting it this way for you. But in this case, we are going to be using this simple arrangement for now. So just take a look at it. If you can copy it, good and fine. If you cannot copy it, don't worry. I'll make some additional information available for it. These are the individual elements. As I've said several, the music is made up of repetition of sounds. This is hit hard. Let me select it. I'm going to be pressing my keyboard. This is see hit hard that is the, sorry the hit kick 808 hit it's very common so this is it so you select it where you want it to be 
I'm going to turn off every available sound, then I'm going to play it alone. This is it. You can see. You can see. Tum, tum, tum. You can see anyone that is being selected is playing. So it's just a beat. Then this is the clap that goes with it. Very common. You can see. Tum, tum. Cut. This is it. This is it. This is it to the end. This is the end. You can see the end here. There is nothing. So you can be selecting it. If I decide to select put three here, you're going to be trrr, t -t -t. just you see. Trrr. Let me. You can see. Trrr. So I'm going to remove it as you select. Just watch when you select it like this. It's going to be adding it. When you just click on it, it's going to be selecting it. But by the time you begin to right click on it, it's going to be removing it. So that is how I put it. How do you get this element to this point? Very simple. I'm going to be talking about it too. This is it. By the time you click here, you can get it from any of the inbuilt sound uh, plugins that you have. Or you can decide to come it here. Look at it. You can see them here. All you need to do is just drag it and drop. You see, it will automatically be added. Then you begin to select it the way you want. So for now, for now we are not going to be working with this how do you put up this heat hat all you need to do is come here right click on it right click on it you click fill two step or fill four step or fill it if you want to go through the shortcut method for now we are having the fill two step this is it i'm going to be playing it alone you can see so this is it if i want to adjust it i can decide to select it I can decide to select it again I'll pick four step. You can see it's giving one one step. So you can see if you want to adjust this sound input of these two tasks, that is a treble, which is a higher frequency. If I come here, if I click here, if I sorry, if I click here, I'll be I'll be having an environment here. This is it. I can come here click pitch just listen let me take it to the four beats again for now i'm going to be doing something i want it to be fast you can see by the time i put my mouse here just listen you're going to be hearing so you can see this is how you adjust the pitch for this case if you want to adjust the pitch of the individual sound instead of just normal it normal the normal teachers that you know so this is it for this so this particular point brings out so at the initial environment you have all your element that you'll be working with most of the time here this is this environment where you click it it brings out this sound rack that is the beat track the beat uh, rack this one brings out your keyboard that is the mbi you can see the individual sound here click it and take it back this one we take everything and bring out the main environment for the sound here that is it for this so in continuation of this this particular sound look at it that we have been playing with just watch let me put the keyboard So you can see this is it for it how do you get this particular sound it's an inbuilt where you right click on it here just the way there are two ways to add it you can either replace it or add if you want to add you click here this is the gms in this case when you click add you provide this environment you select the gms it's under synthesizers and a lot of other sound that is it the synthesizer classic classic or you can if you want to get beat drum you select this particular point you have the beat drum and this is it host of other element then for now what sound is actually in this particular setting we're going to look at it now we have our lead and synthesizers look at this lead and synthesizers then hash it too so if i click on it if I click on this, this lit and synthesizers, then if I scroll down, we go to GH, this is hash lit one, hash lit two, 
this is it if i select this if i go to the tree look at it you can see i just created another So let's go back to our main one. So you can see that is how you get it done. So you can either record it, record the note using the record, or you go through your keyboard here. Look at it, you can see. This is it. I'm going to play it alone. I'll turn off all these other sounds. Then I'm going to play it alone so that you get to see it. This is the keyboard. This is it. We'll start it from the beginning here. This is it. So this is it. Let me select it for now. If I select it. And then I select the keyboard. This is it. Take note of this particular environment where you are seeing it. Just watch. You can see. In this case, I also have some other sound with this, but I've reduced the volume. I've taken it down. You can use this particular rack to draw the volume down of any notes that you don't want. So I've reduced it. If I with time by the time i bring it up you get to appreciate it we'll get to a particular sound i have this you get to appreciate what i'm talking about that is it for this then by the time we we'll go to this second one this other one let me play it you can see mm, mm, let me run the beat on it so what sound is this very one by the time i click on it can see it so the particular sound for this is bass diablo bass is diablo by the time i click this bass is this is bass diablo so let me put up my keyboard so that i see you can see so you can see this sound is commonly used in our i'm a piano kind of beat also afro beat sound so you can see how you can use it on hip hop you can also use it on a piano kind of sound so very common and very sweet gives it a lot of vibes and a lot of energy so combination of all these individual elements together will give you a very wonderful sound as well as your voice to go with it that will be enough for this and your own freestyle that you can use to produce any kind of song that you want let's have a feel of other ones other you can see any slight change will give you another different sound so let me maintain it here so so that is it for now for this very one then the third one this very one what sound is it look at it so in this case it's a drag sound you can see how long they are mm, mm, mm. then when you get to this very end you see where I play around with it. When I played it, you going, you see the difference now. So you see. So you can see the beauty of this. So let's go to the next one this is it by the time i click on it you see wise lab in this case we have wise lab bass core so if i select here wise lab this is a wise lab down this is bass core so i can pick another one you get I'm going to play around I've just i'll do another freestyle with this very particular sound i will not use it i will turn off i will turn it off i will not use it on the keyboard then you get to appreciate but this is the original sound that is for that particular one 
let me close it i'm going to add add it down look at it gms this is gms you can see i'm putting up a new one completely what sound did we pick that time we pick wise lab this is wise lab down and the sound that is above that bass call okay this is it to turn it off completely then i'm going to be using my keyboard So after selecting the GMS, we are going to be creating another new sound to it. We will add it to this very bit. You get to see how we we'll do it now. Let's select here. By the time we select it, you can see. You can see. You already seen it on the keyboard. I will not be using the keyboard this time around for now. I'm going to be using the selection. You can see the line, the different lines, how they cut. So I'm going to follow that particular pattern. I will select my keyboard. But for now, let's play it on it. Let's run it on the beat first, let's see. So you can see how i use the keyboard to get it i can also that is another way that i have said earlier so for now we are going to use the normal this is it so in this case let's go with this one let's increase the size so that we can put it very well when you look at it carefully let me reduce it first you see we have one that is zero to this is one which is on the two three you can see lines here we are going to be drawing the lines on it just to put it on it this is it will stop here this is this is mm. Mm. so you can see how the sound is going up So this is it for the first one so we'll put the next one let's make sure it stays here then we'll put another one again above it just one step above and we'll draw it inside this is just a rough one let's play it now let's see So you now see how wonderful it can be so i'm sure for now you've learned something then that is how we put up all these sounds together then if we want to adjust it possibly we want to play around with the beat that is the sound of the individual rack this if you look at it each of them have a number so you can add the number here let's see these numbers are representing these numbers that you are seeing here look at them so you can use this particular arrow this sliders to adjust the volume of each of the sound that you want the way you want it then the good thing about this particular environment which is this very one look at it it allows you to incorporate some other wonderful feature maybe you want to fine-tune the voice or make it a chorus or make it 
reverb or distort the sound in one way or the other or some filters you use this particular environment for filters so that is one that is one thing with this so that is it this one is not too complex it's very simple and you can pick any of the slots then select any one that you want let's assume we want to pick a hyper chorus one look at it if i select it you can see the environment i will adjust it the way i want with other presets so in this case i'm not using it then let's close this for now then after everything you can now save it either save it as a normal file or you can export as mp3 or whatsoever format you want you can see you can even upload it to the cloud direct so that is it about beat production then you can also record your own voice on this particular beat then load it on it so you can load it on it just as i've said so this is the environment after having everything here as i've showed you if you want to unpack it all you need to do come and here click it then you click split channel you see all the, each of the individual sound are being be split you can delete this one then begin to put them one after the other then you want then you arrange it the way you want to get your own wonderful sound that you want for now that is how far we'll go i'll continue to give you more how to do a lot of fine tuning a lot of adjustments to your sound as time goes on thank you very much for being there enjoy everything about this particular beat so you can see as i'm adjusting it you can see the difference you can adjust the entire volume so i'm sure you can see how wonderful it can be here now so don't worry there's a little distortion with this particular one that's the beat so when you're listening to this particular sound you notice that my bass is no longer flowing like the way it was before it's because i tempered with it i did an adjustment by the time i come here and i click on it you see it gives me the environment again which is a chorus environment let me turn it off completely so that it doesn't distort it again i'll click delete once i click delete i click ok you can see my back my sound is back to normal now again so thank you very much for being there so let me know if you are interested in getting this so that i can make it available for you although i'll be making a link available for you where you can download it for those who want the mdi just let me know but don't forget to let me know which artists are using this kind of beats demo a lot of popular artists are there you can compare the list and let me know then i'll make the beats available for you either in waveform or audio form or the mdi if you need the mdi in particular let me know too so thank you very well for being there as we continue to give you more as i remember your your number one dj that is spinning your wheels hitting your speakers like no other business every moment with a lot of information to go with it so let's get so let's get to enjoy more as we learn and as we build our music career thank you very much for being there